Like so many of his contemporaries, Edward Raymond Eddie Cochran was a shining star who burned too brightly and was extinguished too soon, leaving a black hole of what ifs and a catalog of brilliant art. The dashing American singer with a rebellious attitude released only one album during his lifetime, but became one of rock music's most iconic pioneers. Cochran was born in Minnesota and moved to California as a teenager. He dropped out of high school to become a professional musician, becoming one of the first rock and roll artists to write his own songs and to overdub tracks. In 1955, Cochran released his first single, Skinny Jim, which quickly became a rockabilly classic. In 1957, Cochran starred with Mamie Van Dorn in the cult classic, Untamed Youth, and he had yet another hit from that film, that Sittin, in the, Sittin in the Balcony. with Eddie Cochran. Cochran's catalog of rockabilly hits such as 20 Flight Rock, Summertime Blues, Come On Everybody, and Something Else have been covered by some of history's greatest musicians. Now you can't use a car because you didn't work a lick. In early 1959, Cochran's friends Buddy Holly and Richie Valens were killed in a plane crash, leaving him badly shaken. He recorded a song, Three Stars, in tribute to them. There are three new stars, brightly shining forth. He reportedly began to worry that he too would die prematurely. He said he'd had a dream a couple nights before, and in the dream he died. And it was a hor horrible dream, and it was a horrible couple days before I could calm him down. In addition to singing and songwriting, Cochran also worked as a backup musician and producer, playing guitar on tracks for noted musicians of the 1950s. On April 16, 1960, while on tour in the United Kingdom, the cab in which Cochran was riding with his girlfriend, Sharon Sheely, and his good friend, Gene Vincent, crashed into a light post. Cochran was evicted from the car and suffered massive head injuries. Vincent broke his leg, leaving him with a permanent limp. Sheely, a songwriter who wrote Poor Little Fool for Ricky Nelson, suffered a broken pelvis. On Easter Sunday, April 17, 1960, Eddie Cochran succumbed to his injuries. He was only 21 years old. Eddie Cochran was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1987. A plaque was erected on the site of the crash many years later put down a commemorative plaque to the man that we all respected, we loved his music, we still do today, and he will never be forgotten. An excerpt from his bio sums him up thusly. Beneath Cochran's polite exterior lurked an all-American rebel, and in death he achieved iconic status with several generations of rock and rollers, from the first wave of British invasion bands to the Sex Pistols. We thank you for tuning in and please make sure to subscribe and like this video.